Okay guys, so just thought I'd let y'all know that this thing is going to be uh, gone for a while. Um, it's going to be at a dealer. Uh, I gotta have it. Uh, they're going to have to put a transmission in it. Transmission's fried. Uh, there's a cable. I thought it needed a cable for a minute, but it doesn't. It just doesn't move. Um, and, I mean, as you can see, I mean, it doesn't even move the cable, really. So, this little thing is, we thought it was broken, which it, it still pulls, and it moves the transmission. So, I'm going to take it to the dealer. It, it was, it strips because I had the tension turned up to about right there, and it just stripped the transmission, because when you would hit the transmission, it goes squeak off, squeak off, squeak off, squeak off. Like it was sounding like a dog was barking. Oh, oh that's kind of heavy. Um, I'm going to clean the deck out. But see all the training. Training. Oh, man. One second. All right, so I got to stand it up. But, uh, so there's the blades, the deck. But here's the tranny. And I believe it's stripped. It won't go, it won't move, so I'm just gonna take it to the dealer and, and just be like, what in the world's going on? I honestly don't know how this works. I'm not just gonna take time, I'm just gonna take it in warranty and have them mess with it. I don't wanna mess with it, I don't know a thing about, about this. Well, of course I know something about it, but I just don't wanna take the time. It's under warranty, so I'm just gonna bring it in and, and just ask them. And have them look at it. It's the dry pulley, and here's the transmission. And um, I've noticed a couple times when I shut it off that I hear like a like a a buzz, like when you like this is like a weird sound. I don't know what that is, but uh, I mean it was pulling fine, and then it just well it was actually pulling bad, and then I turned the tension up a little more. Because I, I noticed that the belt was kind of loose. And I believe that it's stuck on somehow. But it's not the uh, cable because... I mean, this this moves. This is what engages it all. So I just think this is the training he's done. I mean, it's got at least 100 hours on it. So, these aren't the original blades, if you were wondering. These are actually blades I put on it. I put the mulching ones back on it. I wasn't the big fan of the high lifters. They weren't working working like I wanted to because then I started getting into the, doing the leaves and they didn't really work good for the leaves. But there's the deck. It's all clogged up. I'm going to take it in my, to my dealer and just give it to him and say, what's, what's wrong with it? And hope to Jesus that they'll find out. But I'm putting a knife. But, so I'm just gonna have to run. That's why I have three mowers, guys. Or that's why I have the Bravo, because I would have had to be using the Honda. But at least I have this thing. And I got the Honda. This thing will work, and, and hopefully it'll, it'll run. Not break anything. So I'm gonna pull the 30 off. I'm gonna probably get it out tonight. Deal closes at 6. So I'm just gonna take it in the classic turf from my local dealer where I bought my LP280 BR, I mean my BG50 and the, and the uh, FS100. So I'm just gonna get started on cleaning all this. Look at that, Look at that big chunk. It's been at least a couple days since I cleaned under here. But uh, I don't have the receipt, so I'm just gonna kinda say I lost the receipt. Well, I did lose it, so I don't know if that's going to affect anything. They're just going to take it in. We'll see how Toro uh, deals with the uh, problem. And I'm going to talk to him about the gas cap leaking.
and I know it's a common problem. I'm gonna see if I can get him to do what Johnny Mo did and see if they can find a fix or I'll just ask him. I'll come in like a unknowing customer and ask him because I mean I know it's vapor locked. It gets vapor locked. This is a mess under here but it's crazy what how much dirt and grass and junk can get clogged. Uh, like I said, there's a couple spots that'll get clogged. Right here it'll get clogged because it's got this little thing that makes no sense. And then this is, I think this is for the mulching, I guess. I don't know. And then it likes to build up right here because there's a nut right there. Uh, I'm not copying Johnny Mo. I mean, I experience it for myself. Honestly. Like I said, under here, it, it doesn't process it the grass that well when it's wet. I've been mowing in wet conditions. See, it's getting kind of scratched up, finally. I thought about just ditching this and selling it and just getting me a Bravo, another 25. But, you know, I got faith in this that Toro will take care of it. Toro does not take care of it, and I have to pay $150 for a transmission. I'd rather just go buy a new 30 or just get a, another Bravo 21 instead of getting another 25 and just get a 21 or another 25 and then just keep and just sell this for 600 yeah see there's that nut right there Johnny Moe talks about two nuts these blades ain't razor sharp but they don't cut crap This is how I clean it in a mower, I guess. I don't know. The reason why I'm cleaning is so they don't think I I beat it to death today. Look, there's still a lot of buildup on there from like years ago from me using it. I use this thing daily. Don't think I don't really use it much. Of course, I say I use the, the 25 a whole lot, a lot more than, than this and the Honda. I still use this. So it's not like I don't use it. I just like to use the Bravo. It's just kind of quicker sometimes, especially. Hopefully, I can get the transmission, or they can get the transmission fixed, or the dealer can. I don't know what the deal is, but it clogs up a lot right here. I don't know if there's any fix to keep it from getting clogged right here, because there's no nuts or anything. It's especially what doesn't make sense with all Toro mowers is their warranties. Because I took <coughs> an old mower in and their warranty didn't cover with a uh, something was wrong with the engine. So we took it in and they kind of gave us a little crap the Toro, uh, Toro did. So we're just going to test out the customer service and and just see what it's like. Look at all this. All that mess. That's just from doing three yards. That's it. That's how wet they've been from this ring we've had. Yeah, keep this stuff clean under here. So I guess I won't be using this on Wednesday because i got to be doing some leaf cleanups on Wednesday. So I guess we're just going to do Bravo. I've never done leaf cleaning with the Bravo. I, I got to do a couple before uh, Thanksgiving. Do a couple leaf cleanings. Look at all that grass. Yeah, I did a wet yard yesterday, and I did my fescue today, and then I did another wet yard on uh, last Saturday. Got pretty clogged up. Like I said, it's a big mess under here. But this video is going to be titled Toro Time Master 30 inch broke or mower broke or whatever. I'm just going to clean this out so they don't, it doesn't make a mess in their store. I'm just going to probably shoot some wash. Well, I don't think I'll wash it. I don't think they'll care. As long as, as, long as this is not bad under here, just going to clean this out a little bit. Under there, it's not a mess. 
I don't think it's been used a lot. Of course, it's been used millions of times. Hopefully, Toro will. Of course, I don't use it commercially. Well, I do, but I'm not like a business or anything. Of course, I am, but not like I'm doing a thousand yards a day like most of the people do. So this needs to be hooked back on there. Oh, wrong way. Needs to go in like this. But we'll let the dealer mess with most of it. And just see what customer service. And I'll let you know what's going to go on with this baby. And if they don't fix it, I don't know who's going to fix it. Because I'm definitely not putting a transmission in it. I put one in the Bravo and it was easy, but it's probably a whole different story with this thing. I mean, you can even hear the transmission. We can hear it. But look at all this. That's three days of mowing. <laughs> and I did about two a day with that. But I don't know what to think about the 30. I don't know if I should ditch it or if I should sell it for 600 bucks. If it's not under warranty, then, then I don't know because I'm not going to be happy. Because they're probably going to look at the scale number under here. For now. It's right here. It should be under warranty. 2013. It's got a three year warranty. And. Of course, I bought this thing off Craigslist with no receipt, so I don't know what they'll think about the receipt deal. Of this is what you call a bad transmission. I mean, because see, you can engage in it, it doesn't do anything with that cable. Of course, the uh, tension is not even tension, but like I said, I think I'm just going to take it to the dealer and, and say what the world is wrong with this. And if they can fix it in a warranty, then, then cool, but if they can't, then, you, know, you know how it all goes. And I'm going to ask him about this, gas cap and this it doesn't pop up i don't know if it's supposed to i don't know if the spring's bad i don't know hopefully it'll all be under warranty i'm gonna make them put a better gas cap on it because it sucks um but yeah I'm, i gotta go adjust this tension so that they won't think i'm stupid and adjust the tension crazy put the air filter probably need to clean it out they'll probably like go through all this and I'll, and everything. I don't know, my dealer's pretty promising. Yeah, it needs an air filter. I'll, I'll buy one. I'm, I'll probably buy one there. I'll probably buy a tune-up kit. If it's under warranty, then I'll just make them tune it up. Or put oil in it. Let's see. Yeah, see, I don't know why, but my oil thing vibrates like crazy. Oh, yeah, full. The full line. Yeah, look. See, it just vibrates like that. Makes this weird clinging, pounding, weird noise. Not backfiring, but like small ticking sound. And it hasn't always been like that, so yeah. So hopefully we get it fixed, and thanks for watching.